In this video, I will show you how to use Box Trapper to prevent spam. So click on the Box Trapper link. Here you have your list of email addresses. To the right, you have Manage. So let's click on Manage. Current status disable. Click Enable. Let's click Go Back. Let's click on Configure Settings. Here is the standard, okay, which is fine. You can change it if you want, but it's okay. Let's go back. Let's click on Edit Confirmation Messages. Okay, let's click on the first one, Edit. Here you can change the message that is sent to the sender to verify uh, the email address. Okay, the only thing you don't want to mess around with are the percentage signs and anything in between because that will prevent um, the box trapper from working properly. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back again. Uh, here is your list. Okay. Edit whitelist is where you'll put uh, the email address that you know are good. You can create a ignore list. And here's your blacklist. This is where you'll uh, put those email address, uh, those spam email address. This is where you put them. Okay. And then click save. And that's it. Let's go back. Let's go back. You can, you have a forward list, you go to review log if you want, you can review the queue. Okay, meaning emails waiting for verification. Okay. Um, before I created this video, I sent an email. Okay, let me show you the message. If I'm sending you an email after uh, you set up the box wrapper, and if I'm not in your whitelist, this is the message I will get. Okay, it's very simple. Pause the video if you'd like to read this. Basically, uh, the sender has to reply or click on this link over here and uh, then the email will be sent to your inbox, okay? So if you're getting automated uh, spam emails from uh, robots, uh, obviously they're not going to respond to this, so that will cut down on your spam. In the next video, I will show you how to set up the spam assassin, okay? Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.